I can only imagine how full of the spirit you must be. Bishop Massa. Yeah, it is, it's, a, it's a very joyful day, uh, but also very humbling too. You know, with, uh, when the, you receive the call from the nuncio, uh, there's a week of time when you are uh, unable to say anything. So it's a time of reflection. You reflect on your own life. You reflect on uh, your inadequacies, mm -hmm. your fears. Um, but you really, it becomes a chance to really uh, uh, re, uh, renew your trust in God. And that's, um, and that's what it's been like, a kind of silent retreat this past week. Understood, understood. It, it must be a shock, though, when you get that call from the Apostolic Nuncio and, uh, yeah. you know, and he says to you, hey, you're going to be a bishop. Uh, what, what was your reaction, Father Vito? My reaction was uh, so spontaneous. Uh, I even on that time, when I got the phone call from Nuncio, um, was speechless in a few moments. Uh, but uh, after deep reflection and deep breath, uh, I said yes. <laughs> I said yes. <laughs> so then uh, came uh, the new days, days of um, prayer, days of uh, celebration of the Holy Eucharist with, with uh, mm, great reverence and thinking of the future, of the future, not only myself, but the future, mm -hmm. future of the church. Sure. So Bishop James, I mean, it's not that unusual for you to get a call from the Apostolic Nuncio. <laughs> I mean, you, you've talked to him before. <laughs> I have, but, but that, uh, that has to do with, um, um, I'm, I'm an advisor to th uh, the Archdiocese on the uh, upcoming uh, uh, trip of, Hol of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a background in, in ecumenical and interreligious relations, and one of the events coming up in September when Pope Francis visits the New York area will be a meeting with leaders of other religions. Mm -hmm. So I met the nuncio about a month ago, and we were talking about that event, and he had a few questions. And I, that was my thinking when uh, I heard that the nunciator was on the phone. So uh, it was a little bit of a shock. <laughs> Clearly your life changes. I mean, that goes without saying. How do you prepare from this point on to, to change your ministry, to change the way you, you, you deal with your parishioners and your diocese? Bishop Vital? I will stay in the parish mm -hmm. as a pastor of uh, this community, and I will uh, continue my work, pastoral work, over there. But. Over that, I will have some duties in the diocese, sure. uh, so uh, I am prepared to do my best for the Diocese of Brooklyn, all people of this diocese, and for all the Universal Church. I was going to say, you are so identified with the Polish community, because mm -hmm. you were the coordinator for the Polish Apostolate. I've that been but you are a bishop for everybody <laughs> in the diocese, That's right? That's true. Even uh, when I was a con coordinator to the Polish Apostolate, uh, my idea and uh, my way of work was for all the people in the diocese. Mm -hmm. uh, cooperation, collaboration with them uh, was a great uh, movement in my life. Mm -hmm. Bishop James, how is your life going to change? I mean, you're, you're involved in the chancery now, so you know there are certain yeah. things that your duties will remain the same, but how do you think your life is going with to change? With this now higher calling. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably get less sleep. <laughs> um, the, uh, you know, I in many ways it will remain very similar because my duties uh, as moderator of the Choria will continue. Um, I, uh, I, I think it's also, uh, um, I, I capture it maybe in the word availability. We're available to the people, to the faithful of Brooklyn and Queens in a different way. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, people write to the diocese sometimes uh, with particular burdens, with um, anxieties about what's going on in their local parishes or whatever, and, and, and also with, with good news, with what, all the good things that are happening around uh, the church in Brooklyn and Queens. We have to be responsive to, to those inquiries, to, mm -hmm. those, um, to those phone calls. And uh, Bishop will send the two of us around to, to do confirmations, of course, and, um, and also to visit parishes that have particular anniversary celebrations and, and that sort of thing. So it's, it's an availability that I think changes our lives. Pope mm -hmm. Francis has, has a very definitive charge for our bishops. I mean, for all clergy, obviously, but for our bishops. And he's made them very clear since the beginning of his pontificate. Yeah. 
of course you've taken that to heart from the very beginning, but now, having been appointed bishop, does that change a little bit? Does that change in the way you're going to apply your ministry and your thinking in the way you deal with parishioners? It both Bish uh, Bishop Vitol and I were given a cross by Bishop DiMarzio, and it's the very same cross that um, uh, Pope Francis wears. And it is uh, the image of the shepherd holding the sheep. And of course, Pope Francis has that wonderful line that we as, as, as bishops, as priests, are to have the smell of the sheep, meaning we have to be close to them. We have to know their burdens, their aspirations, their hopes, and uh, know them deeply. Mm -hmm. So um, he, ha he raises the bar for us. Um, he sometimes is even critical of behaviors that he sees among bishops and among priests sure. that, are, um, that are not uh, in conformity with the mind of Christ. And he challenges us. Mm -hmm. um, but he's also, he's the model, he's a great model. I agree. And, um, and uh, just a wonderful spiritual father mm -hmm. for us. Ed, do you have a final sure, question? Sure, last question is, what are you looking forward to most about being a bishop? <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting question. <laughs> and uh, uh, I will try uh, to, my, to do my best and to offer my service uh, deeply to the people of God, mm -hmm. wherever I, I go. Bishop James? Yeah, I, um, I think it's that, um, that closeness with people that is, is the joy, and closeness with, our, with, with brother priests. Um, I love the priests of our diocese. They, uh, there's a special character to the Brooklyn <laughs> clergy. It's really, it's, it's <laughs> remarkable. And um, uh, to be close to them, to be with them, um, in the hospital, to be with them at funerals, to be with them at anniversary celebrations, um, to accompany them. It's a great word of this pontificate mm -hmm. of Pope Francis, to accompany one another. Mm -hmm. Well, based on this interview and based on your service thus far, this is such a, a, a duly deserved honor, and we cannot express to you how much. We are just so happy for you. Blessings. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Thank you Ed.